Hello Clashers, this is your host Galadon, and this is episode 64 of Clash of Clans Attacks. And today, thanks to your comments and suggestions, we will be covering the Balloonian attack. And no, that's not a new half dark elixir, half regular elixir unit called the Balloonian, but that is the attack that consists of balloons and minions together. But you probably knew that already. So without wasting any more time, let's get right down to where we usually start, and that is with a fail. And uh, here we see a balloon and minion attack against the destroyer of Lost Phoenix. And one of the keys to remember about these balloons specifically is you got to remember their artificial intelligence. The balloons are always going to target defensive structures first, and the minions are going to target anything that's close. So the balloon's worst enemy is going to be the wizard tower and the air defense, especially wizard towers because of the splash damage. And any good balloon minion attack is going to start out with balloons and rage targeting those air defensive structures. Now normally you want to try to get those balloons spread out, kind of like what he did here, except for if you had looked closely at the map, you could have actually predicted that once those outer cannons were taken out, all these balloons would converge towards the middle there on that air defense and that wizard tower, which isn't disaster until here when you see the wizard tower on the left. Look at the splash damage. Look at every single balloon being damaged at the same time, and they all go down together. Now comes his second stage of the attack, the minions, but unfortunately he's only at about 24% damage right now. And with those balloons, you really want to try to get to about 30% from what I've seen. And then your minions can get you closer to 50% with really good attackers. They sometimes will actually achieve 50% with just the balloons and the minions. And then for the third and final stage of the attack, you have your king and your queen. They can go in, target that town hall, and get you the second star. Now in this attack, we never see the king and the queen come into the picture but I just wanted to show it anyway just because of the splash damage issues to really show what those balloons need to do before the rest of the attack happens. And here we're going to see a good example of balloons doing their job at the beginning of the attack. In this replay from MMD07 who is now a member of Lost Phoenix but this attack was from before he joined but I just wanted to show it anyway because it's a great example of this. The balloons being spread out across one side of the village here now specifically, look at the group headed for that middle wizard tower. Notice how it's not damaging all of the balloons at once, just a few of them. And then also watch the rage spells. There's going to be three of them here, perfectly placed. Each one not quite overlapping the other, but they're accelerating every single balloon into the center of the base. And now as those air bombs take out a whole bunch of balloons, by the time the balloons go down, look what's happened here. There is not a solitary defensive structure left standing on the right side of this village. The only expo is set to ground. There's only one inferno left. When these minions come in, they are going to have a heyday. Uh, unintentional supercell reference there. There's one lonely wizard from the clan castle. He's going to get wiped out. And now we can just sit and watch MMDO's patience as he just deploys just a few minions, in some cases just one per building, to take out all of these structures on the right hand side of this village. The king, impotent, just wanders around. He can't do a thing. Now those minions are still clearing buildings here. And now here's an interesting phenomenon. Watch very closely here. He's going to drop a few more minions down and they actually target the king. And now those minions have moved in to attack the king. So he's got the queen over here and she is actually going to serve as a distraction. She distracts the king's attention. He moves out of the way. The remaining minions and a dragon come in. There's going to be a perfectly timed rage spell here. And sure enough, that town hall is going down. And if you ask me, that is poetry in motion. That is most certainly a win Balloonian attack, and MMDO shows us how it's done. And stick a fork in it, we're done. That has been episode 64 of Clash of Clans Attacks. Please do come back tomorrow. We've got some mid-level town hall attacks as requested from the comments. As always, I appreciate the likes, the comments, and the subscribes. Please let me know what you guys think below, and we will be back tomorrow. And yes, to answer your questions, Peter17 dollars is coming back. Apparently he's got a bone to pick with a clash with Cam who was making fun of him. So it ought to be interesting to see what happens there.